We're going to take the mo make a motion to write up two employees based on information provided to us at the executive session. I'll second. And we're giving the chief the authority to write them up. To write them up. Is there any discussion? Motion been made and seconded. All in favor of the motion, uh, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, motion, let the record show the motion. Chief, I got another motion that I'd like to make. Um, we have the uh, uh, Head Start uh, officials coming in to this, uh, reference our early Head Start program. We need to get some documents uh, for approval. Uh, the first one we all were sent out to the council. Uh, I'd like to approve the enrollment selection improvement policies, uh, progress on implementing grants. I uh, also want to report that no major expenditures have been presented to the Charles Council. Uh, the program, I want to improve the program information report is accurate and the self assessment and the continuation grants seem adequate to the data completion that needs to be updated to reflect the change in direction of the program. I'd like to recommend that we uh, approve those. We can get the ones we're not approving. No. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't need our approval. No. Yeah. Just one that's one. One of the CG. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the motion to approve the report to the Brad Weston. Okay. I'm going to take a vote to approve. Okay. I'm going to hold them. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? I do believe that's the last order of business. Motion to adjourn. Second. Wait. <laughs> Second. Everybody on your way. We got one more in the background. Chief, before you before you adjourn the meeting, I'd like to say something. Uh, I feel it's an obligation as tribal manager. I have an obligation to protect my employees. So I I'd like to say something on their behalf. I don't. Uh, I'll keep it short. I had a, had a longer speech, but I'll keep it very short. There's no quote, quote that I've heard for years, and it goes like this. In tribal, it doesn't need to be true. It just needs to be heard. We have an ex-council member who's here today who has a blog. I'm not going to mention the blog. I'm not going to mention anybody's name. But um, on that blog, she, of course, has attacked me personally. She's attacked our programs, a couple of our most successful programs, and she's attacked the employees. Um, I know the, before that, she attacked another council member and her minor children. So, <clears throat> What I want to say is that I think that's very selfish. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we do here, we look at what's best for the people. A department has to look at what's best for the department, and I have to look at what's best for all of operations, and the chief has to look at what's best for the tribe as a whole, for the council. And sometimes those decisions are not what the individual needs. So, <clears throat> I want the people out there who watch this from afar and are involved in the day-to-day -day personalities to understand that there are two sides to every story. We have a lot of hardworking employees who are limited by being understaffed and are on, excuse me, Nathan, I didn't mean to offend you. You're out of line, you're out of order. And I, uh, the meeting's been adjourned. If, if, if somebody's out of order in here, I think the 
The meeting's been adjourned. The meeting calls that. Now I've let everybody else in this room. So we went so back in the room, and now he gets to besmirch people. I will not argue everybody. with you, Council Member Young. He's going to get to finish what he's saying with it. But hopefully within five minutes. Within a couple. And I want to see. You can object to. But I, I he's got the floor just like you did. Right. I just want to say that we have a lot of hardworking employees here. We have a couple that need a nudge every now and then, but we, we're understaffed. We have budget restrictions, but we still provide a lot of good services to a lot of people. And uh, so I went back. I don't don't usually read the blog, but I went back into the blog and didn't go that many blogs back. And I just want to say for the record, there were 23. They were either exaggerations or they were ignorant assumptions and a couple of lies in this blog. And I'll have to make a point of order. Uh, under Robert's rules, Chief, you cannot impugn the integrity of another person. Read it. You I should know it. I haven't mentioned anyone's okay. name. Uh, I just have a point of order. Who had the blog? Come on, Joe. Okay, I'm with your all lies. So, point of order. Court, you haven't ruled on it, Judge. I'm sorry, Chief. Uh, you have proper rule, please. Yeah, you should know it. You're the chairman. I think Nathan does. Nathan walked out because of the inappropriateness of the tribal operations plan. Well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll leave it there. I'll just it's say that it's, it's, it's affected the employees, it it's affected yeah. the morale, and there's a lot of employees that are really, really tired of being attacked. And that source of you. It all that boils down to one person. Use. Joe ask, and I. Ask them. I have. One or two that need the nudging. You need to be nudged. How? Motion better made to adjourn. You're not going to let Dr. Joe respond? Apparently not. Well, she should just I, it I, out. I just let somebody else talk. Does somebody else wish to? I do. Okay. I don't have my oxygen on, but I'm still going to say this is the same man who became aggressive in a meeting in his office, slammed his head, raised up, slammed his hand down at his desk toward me. That's aggressive. That's abusive. This is the man you've got at the head of your tribe, besides the council. There is no way in the world, and this man shows complete favoritism toward three or four employees, and we were asked to go into executive session, but he's allowed to stand out here and talk. Yes. We're already adjourned. You, you said I could speak. You said I could speak. Yeah. I didn't say you could speak about a tribal employee. Oh. In the open. Yeah. But a tribal employee could speak about me in an open. Yeah. Well, I got a problem going to He was out well, hey, stand up and speak. I'm done now. The, all of the issues in this tribe boil down go up to one person. Joe Exxon does. It's wrong. Wrong. Joe. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. That's a joke. That's wrong. It's a joke. They go out to the Oh, All in favor of the gentleman, please say aye. 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 Everybody, this is Marcia's facilitator, Donna. Yay, thank you for being here. Sorry, Marcia. Sorry, I'm not witnessing this part of it. Fine. I apologize already. Thank you.